What would you think would happen if a game, let's say nerfs your hard-earned characters that you spent painstakingly to level up, people will take it or leave it? And well, a lot of people are deciding to leave. I'm f leaving! <laughs> but hear me out. I think the game devs are coming from a good place, but their execution could use some work. So I'll be talking about the patch notes and how it has affected the roster and its teams. So whether you love or hate Ranked Assault, it's here to stay. And for the PvE lovers out there, we get another lame raid boss. Man. Here is hoping for PvE content in April. Can we quickly talk about this bonus energy via watching ads? Is this the state of the game that it's currently in? Where the game needs to have in-game advertisements to keep a pulse? DHCV 2024 in-game ads. Before we get to the notes, first I would like to preface my own analysis and conclusions based on the team that I use and the rank that I can obtain. I know, I know. Just. Get on with it already, so you can skip ahead if you want. But I just want to ensure that this is my viewpoint on the so-called meta. Pre 2.1, I used to float around 180 to 300, fighting to keep under rank 250 in, I believe, one of the hardest ranked brackets in the game. My main strategy for attacking is using Lex and Waller as the anchors, which is more of a PvE-centric build, uh, but it does the job using a buffs to gain super meter and using joker to do the bulk of my damage uh, ultra humanite for attrition purposes and to keep my team alive defense wise is very similar but i exchange flash with penguin as i don't think flash is as good as a defender in general but yes that means i was using the assist glitch via waller and penguin to defend my position so pre-patch there were some heroes that have been overperforming, and the two standout characters are Riddler and Vandal. If you did not know how to deal with the annoyance of Riddler or Vandal's absurd healing, you would time out out of the match. So having Riddler with no synergy on defense was a huge deterrent. Also, Vandal with two healers were very difficult to deal with without proper firepower. So these next two are my personal standout performers. I have been impressed with Joker. Combining him with Waller has yielded very good synergy in damage and a very good early tile start. Um, his, he is quite soft and the thing that bugs me the most is he can randomly give a taunt to anyone but sometimes he taunts my weakest guy so he will just die which uh, causes me some issues and sometimes I lose. The color yellow has been very weak and still the weakest color. But Aquaman has been very annoying, and I think he is uh, much stronger than what people realize. And this could be because of my team solely, as I need buffs to kind of propel my team. So the fact that he can cleanse it, the fact that he has an anti-buff, uh, debuff, uh, is really disruptive. Okay, so now underperformers. Uh, these characters, I just don't see them being really good defenders without proper synergy. I do see Beast Boy just on his own, you know, maybe like a triple tank or something, but like pre and post, without him being on the green team or the Teen Titans team, I just, he's just ineffective. And yeah, Parasite, I can see him being good maybe on offense, but defense kind of just taunts and heals a tiny bit but it does it's, it's not very again i don't think it's i don't think it's very effective it's just those two have been kind of underperform i kind of do target them if they don't have synergy now granted i i have lost when it was now granted i did lose one match where it was parasite beast boy but it was pretty much vandal and i believe enchantress and ivy so so i really I think I just lost against Vandal rather than those two being there but in general I think uh, those two have been underperforming for defense. So the most effective offensive teams that I have seen that has crushed my defense is the red mono red team, mono green team, Lex Cersei pairings, uh, Waller crit teams, uh, Justice League. So offensively that is what I have seen that has really just demolish my defense and defensive teams that i had very difficult time with 
leading up to the patch, Arkham teams were getting very popular. Riddler, Joker, Penguin. In terms of firepower, they just kind of could kill my guys if I wasn't prepared. Justice League, although they lack team synergy, they're just they're just so tanky and bulky. Uh, Teen Titans, I have completely avoided because I use Flash. It just triggers Flash and Joker. It just triggers Starfire's special way too often. Uh, and then yes, the timeout teams that I was alluding to, which was uh, Riddler, Vandal, Vandal, two healer, Superman type teams. So those were very annoying and I've lost to a lot of them. All right, so with that out of the way, we will start with the released notes. Yeah, well, first up we have Supergirl. Supergirl has been disappointing, but because of this new patch, we get Superboy and Super People, but her passive now grants heal over time instead of stealth so that's uh so that's really good ellie quinn now cleanses joker before cleansing most affected ally there's that he always cleanses two allies when joker is on afflicted yeah that's really good i didn't know that order matters i guess passive was different i think this harley quinn is kind of the lex of arkham if you have her i think she's the anchor can get killed quite quickly but the one that will heal your your arkham team power energy all right, so Scarecrow gets power move increase, uh, power move damage. It's great, but Bane increased attack stat bonus from three to five to five to ten. Increased max duration of buff scheme after falling below percent from five to six, which is it, and then reorder power move. The fact that at level one his attack stat for each debuff is five percent and it can go up ten that is pretty insane. I guess, but yeah, I think Bane this buff has. Is really good i think it's better than it seems so killer crocs damage over time duration increased which is okay we'll start with red team nerfs with cersei uh, she was one of the anchors uh, increased the amount of tiles needed to charge her power move from 11 to and agreed decrease the power move damage so after the fallout from the patch red team is still a thing it's just much harder to do damage uh she is probably worse on defense if you just don't have Lex on the team. Just her power move is just too slow. I'd be very sad if I was too fit because they decreased the power move damage uh, back to I think it's so when they changed his super to, to, to not do as good uh, they increased his damage but I think much. So they nerfed the damage of red and ultra humanite as well. So Vandal decreased base passive healing from 2% to 1% per turn. You know you'd be surprised he was like Vandal was at tier 9 or 10 with 4% healing. Very annoying to deal with. Got nerfed here. That was his strength was you weren't, didn't have anti-healing or a bleed on him. You would just keep back all the damage, all the A damage. If you Chantress, increased chance to grant an ally. Heal over time at the start of each turn from 25 to 100% to 10% to 40%. This was the biggest nerf, I think. Having Vandal and Chantress and an Ivy on one team. Getting the heal over time, if this is a huge nerf to her. Uh, Waller reduce base attack up and critical up durations by one turn, which is meant revised power move upgrade effects and removed heal over time duration upgrade. I don't think it changes Amanda Waller that that much, but it's still a nerf. So whenever he supers, doesn't just get a huge heal over time. All right, Gorilla Grodd. The amount of tiles needed to charge his superpower has increased by one tile again. And then, oh, but it increased the move damage. It's still a, re a red nerf. Artemis Grace. Increased the amount of tiles again needed. Uh, base power move increased, but decreased her defense stat by huge nerf to red again. But seeing the conclusion that red team is still a thing. It's, re it's, very, it's very much still alive. It's just much harder to steamroll. All right, Riddler. Passive text has been updated to specify that he converts normal green tile into a special tile after using his power move. No longer possible to convert another special tile and kind of fixed his super a little bit for the player. But I think I am a little disappointed. I, I still think on attack Riddler is, is too strong. He's just creating green tiles too, too much and if you just have mono green. I understand that there's no heavy damage dealing on mono green but it's just, it's just too oppressive on attack. On defense though, kind of leave him alone. He's not as effective. I just am disappointed that if you're going to nerf Red's damage, you have also kind of nerfed. 
All right, King Shark, critical hit reaction effect only triggers from his power move. I think this is a little bit of a nerf, even though at 33%, you know, if he crit, there was a 33% that he would uh, not blue tile. So now increased max chance to spawn tiles from 30 to 60. It's crit though. Okay, it's 20% crit, so it's not, it's not bad. Still, you probably want Waller too. I think this is a somewhat of a nerf, even though the of the blue tile conversion is larger, it's just he doesn't get his super. I guess he can snowball though in some cases, which is why it, it's it's it is what it is, because if an enemy does not survive the power move, there is a max of so I think it's 20. Yeah, so I think it's 20 to refill his power gauge up to then. So that's why it's done this way. I'm not sure. Alright, Aqua Lad. Critical hit reaction. Effect only triggers on his power move. Max attack up duration increased though. Buys power move effect. After landing critical hit with his power move. That's kind of a... I think this is a nerf. Martian Manhunter. Passive reaction effects only triggered by dodging a power move. Hit. Passive attack down debuff extended. Yeah, I think it's a little bit of a nerf. I mean, yeah, if you dodge the power move, then you want to be triggering that thing. I guess the next few that I'll be talking about is bug fixes. So Kryptonite attack only triggers on power moves. And yeah, I mean, when I was in Lex, sometimes I would just trigger the uh, Kryptonite attack on Superman. That was a huge advantage, but I guess they fixed that. And multi-hit attacks, fixed bugs that caused inconsistencies triggered by blocking and critical hits when acting to power moves. So yeah, good. All right, so the major bug fixes the power move actually properly on is good. Matching gems with like on the opposite team no longer cause oh, Superman's passive. Yeah, talked about that. Aqualad now properly triggers his passive when performing a critical hit. Also, I guess he was kind of bugged. The change that they made downgrade. And this one's the huge one because I was using assist attacks no longer deal more damage on the enemy and defense side. Basically, sometimes if Waller was able to hit. And you drop below fifty percent, you would instant your guy would instantly die. So it's good, good fix. It was kind of broken, but I was using. I mean, I was using it. Some bugs were never addressed in these notes, and they're all based on timers for ranked assault. They fixed the ranked assault energy timer. It used to be that you had to log in to kickstart said timer. Now people can just relax and have maximum attempts within twenty four hours. They also fixed the timers in the ranked assault match. The timer zoomed by too quickly on times two speed, making the 10 minutes feel like five. So the biggest winners are Bane. You got the biggest buff, uh, Arkham. Basically did not get touched like Riddler and Joker. I think could use some picking, but they didn't get touched. So I think Arkham is really strong. Uh, Supergirl got a good buff for the upcoming new tunes. Justice League and Teen Titans did not get touched at all. As well. I think those big three teams uh, will be dominant in this coming up season. And yeah, Enchantress Vandal got, I think, got hit the most. Uh, Red Team got hit, but surprisingly, uh, they still it's still viable in PvP. It's just a lot harder. Yeah, and timing out like the um, the Riddler plus Vandal strategies they doesn't exist. So what do you think? I think the devs are coming from the right space. A lot of bugs were addressed with some stability issues as well. Red team is not in a good place but still viable. Just harder to attack and much weaker on defense. I'm disappointed with them though that they didn't really touch Riddler at all. I think attacking wise green is going to be one of the top contenders for that spot or maybe you guys quit already maybe you quit because there's no pve anytime soon well let me know if i'm totally off the mark thank you for watching if you like this then listen to my atlantean character breakdown and may it be the best on this day to you